So the main treatment for HIV is highly active antiretroviral therapy, and I've been reading some studies relating to the life expectancy of those who have HIV. The key thing to note is if highly active antiretroviral therapy is started as early as possible, the life expectancy of someone diagnosed with HIV can be near enough to normal as the therapy suppresses the virus. As you may know, HIV results in deterioration of the immune system, specifically the CD4 immune cells, and the CD4 cells on a blood test can indicate your immune function. Normal levels of CD4 in a non-infected person is around 500 to 1,500 cells per cubic millimeter. Previous studies have suggested a mortality rate of two times greater in HIV infected population. It's recommended that antiretroviral therapy is started as soon as diagnosis of HIV is made. Before 2015 in the UK, antiretroviral therapy was only started if the person had a CD4 cell count of lower than 350 cells per cubic millimeter. The late stage diagnosis, the definition of it was defined as having a CD4 count lower than 350 cells per cubic millimeter within three months of diagnosis. There was a study done and 61% of women and 51% of men were diagnosed late. And this resulted in a mortality rate which was 24 times that than the average UK population. And that was based on the life expectancy when a late diagnosis was made. So there is an urgent need to increase testing in primary care settings. Those at risk of HIV, and if they present with swollen lymph nodes, flu-like symptoms, they should have blood tests to rule out an early stage of HIV as a potential diagnosis. Early diagnosis of HIV and starting antiretroviral therapy as soon as diagnosis is made can lead to a near normal life expectancy.